<laughs> Interesting. I wonder where did Chris go in that cutscene? Like, she should be with everyone else. Hmm. Who knows? Hopefully she is still in the rest of this event. I mean, she's on here. Showing that Aqua, Chris, and Yunyun all dress up as beast girls or cat girls. Alright, so let's continue. Nyan -nyan. この<笑> Alright, next battle. I think we have to go up to 8, if I remember. But yeah, that, that'd be kind of crazy if, like, Chris is just gone from the event. Like, she shows up to be like, oh, mysterious warning, and then just leaves. I'm trying to remember what his name was, but basically the Beastman guy... Uh, I'm trying to remember. Since he doesn't have a card, it's hard to remember. How something? Uh, that's seven, so I need eight. But yeah, I just remember during one of the old monster attack. I think it was the Blood Fang attack. Like, Squall. Yeah, that's his name. Like, just runs out of nowhere, is like, Oh my god, a blood fang's chasing me, or a blood fang is in this area. Run! And then he bolts out of the event, never to come back. The Konosuba crew, like, kills the blood fang, and he doesn't even appear afterward. So that's eight. Alright, we can go. Konosuba? Right. Revenue in this cat ear tea house, part four. Revenue in this cat ear tea house, part four. I don't want to help capture a golem. I didn't do anything wrong. I was just trying to clean. Yeah, by using healing magic for whatever reason. Like, under what circumstances would you use healing magic on a random item or stain? I'm sure if she just stuck with using her water blasting attack, that would have been fine. Maybe eventually the stains would have came off, but she healed whatever in the golem, and now it's back to somewhat workable condition. Well, no matter what you say, you were the one who inserted magical power into the boulder. You have no choice but to help. That's right! It would bring shame to the Crimson Demon name if we don't capture a monster as awesome as that one. I should take this chance to... Yeah, she's trying to leave. Unless she has some other objective here. Hey, wait, Chris. If you ran here as quick as possible, the seal wouldn't have broken in the first place. What? Wait, you're just saying that after seeing the results. On top of that, it wouldn't have mattered if I was quick or not with you guys. But is it right to run away alone? Yeah, I mean, if she didn't come here to warn, these guys would have activated it anyway, because they had to clean, and Aqua was unfortunate to be the one to be put in charge of the boulder. 
Okay, I'll help you. But what are you going to do now? We don't know when it will come back, right? Will it come back tomorrow, or the day after, or even longer? We won't be able to return to Axel until we dealt with it. I'd be like, if it's not coming back today, then we're leaving. Like, this is not a problem for me, or I would say anyone that was with me. I'd be like, okay, we're gone. Like, I know the entire reason they're staying is just because the Crimson Demons want them to deal with the problem. And Megamine as well wants them to deal with the problem. So she doesn't shame their village. But still, it's like, hey, this thing is making me stay here longer than I want to. So if it's not here by today, then we're gone. Then we won't be making any money during that meantime. What? Wait, that's going to be a problem. We won't be able to buy bubbly. We have no other choice. Let's ask Yin Yin to introduce us to a job. She left toward the shrine a while ago. Hmm, it should be here somewhere. Found it! Also, I wonder what is this about a tea house? Is this place literally a tea house or is it a shrine? Or can they be both? Also, I never noticed. This place has cat ears. <laughs> and it also has the bells that kind of look like a collar. That's all kind of cute, actually. There you are. Huh? What's that in your hand? It's the divine statue of this shrine. I was worried it might have been destroyed from the ruckus earlier. But it looks like it's safe. A school swimsuit girl figure with cat ears being considered divine statue is still strange. Yeah, why don't any of these people say anything about it? Why is it only Kazuma? Like, even at least Aqua has to know that this is just a regular statue from Japan, or at least the guy that created it made a very exact replica from the real world, or main world and plus for whatever reason i would think darkness yin yun megamine would be a little flustered looking at this thing i need to see how promiscuous the statue looks like but i mean if it's like most anime statues about cute girls you know it it's looking pretty lewd huh Cat ear? Miko? Divine statue? That's it! It's a chance to make money using it! Guys, I had a great idea! We can make a fortune without going on the quest by creating a new tourist spot! What are you talking about? I don't think you're capable of coming up with a crimson demon-like idea. Just trust me. Megamine, there is an empty house that is scheduled to be demolished next to the shrine, right? Oh, okay. I see how this all coming together. Business chance. Great! I moved all the desk and chairs with this. I feel like we've been here before. Is this a brand new background? Because I feel like this has been reused. Kazuma, would it be okay to leave this divine statue in the shop for a while? Sure, put it somewhere on the inside. It feels like it's going to bring fortune. It looks like a decent tea house thanks to putting some work on the interior. But how is he planning to earn money? When there are ordinary tea houses in the town already. <laughs> I like how she's already getting uncomfortable with this idea. She doesn't even know it, but he's like, what's he plotting? Putting aside if the ordinary you're talking about is actually ordinary. Don't worry about that. I have a sure plan. Kazuma! It's all ready! 
Give up already, Chris. Wait, Aqua! But dressing like that is... Eek! Ugh. Why does this have to happen? Alright, let's get a good look at them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure in the base game, in the main story mode, you see Aqua with the cat ears, but I'm pretty sure not a tail. I think Megamine also has a cat ears version. I don't remember if Darkness. But they also add the tail now and give them this outfit. Also, I like the differences between their outfits. Now we just need Yun Yun in the picture as well to see the difference between her outfit. Aqua has a just regular red bow tie or bow just on her chest or tummy area and she has little axis order symbols on that bow she has like that one little necklace with the axis order and then there's chris which i like she has a little bow and bells on her ears slash hair and she has like a different style of priestess outfit. She has longer sleeves. It's more red at the edge of the her arm area. She has those two little crosses or little bow things on her chest. A little bit more red on the arms like where her arms and shoulders are. And I kind of like the gold or yellow and red on her bow and belt thing, whatever that's called. And then she has little paw prints for cats. Oh yeah, both of them have bells and the uh, bows on their tails. Aqua just has like a rope bow and bell, while Chris has a like big bow and bell hehe <laughs> <laughs> what do you think we look exactly like union right wow we're a set should we take a picture to celebrate later i want to frame it and keep it forever all right let's look at unions again okay so now i can really tell the differences because there's at least a couple of different variations. I kind of like how she has frills at the end of her arms. And I find that weird that her arms aren't connected to her main dress. It seems like they have to tie her arms so they stay on with that like little red rope over there. But yeah, the main dress also has frills on the shoulders, which is kind of cute. She has that little pink, uh, I don't know, belt, rope? And then she has a little yellow rope as well, I guess, to also hold down her dress. And yeah, she has the red and white bow with bells. And then a big pink bow with a bunch of flowers on it with the bells. So yeah, all three are very unique. Which, I mean, I didn't really notice when it was just Union, but now I really do notice. This must be what we was talking about with Shakira in the clothing shop. But why did you make the same outfit as Union? With Shakira... I'm trying to remember, was that during the Crimson Student or Crimson School events? When did they talk with her, Shakira? Because I'm pretty sure that's the clothing Crimson Demon. But I'm pretty sure she doesn't have a model in-game. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's it, like the clothing store, but I just can't remember when did they talk to her. Because it's this shop's theme. Here. 
I declare the grand opening of the Cat Ear Miko Tea House. Interesting name. Cat Ear Miko Tea House. I still want to know, is Miko like that little cat statue that you usually always see? Or is Miko literally the figure's name of like whatever anime or character that is the girl figure with the cat ears? Like the little statue. That's what I want to know. Because I feel like there's some ongoing joke that I just do not understand or whoever this character is. Great! You guys are ready, right? Then the training will begin from now on. That's interesting. He's talking like a crimson demon because these guys are probably crimson demons as well. And he just puts in crimson demon speak. So they understand them and it's like, Alright, we can do this training at the tea house by drinking this hot tea and talking to these cat women. But also, I do question that as well, like what Chris said or Yin Yin, or was it Megami? One of them was asking, why is everyone dressed like this? I mean, it would have been just as interesting to have all the girls in their outfits or different outfits while being a cat girl. They didn't all need to be priestess outfits. I don't need any training in service since I already helped Mia and Amy in their cafe. This is different. Listen closely. While working in the shop, don't forget to add meow at the end of every sentence. <laughs> okay, so he's wanting to take this serious. Also, no, I thought they were going to service Crimson Demons and that's why he was talking tough, but no, he's actually trying to train these guys. Huh? That's too embarrassing. That's not it! If you want to say that, you have to say, That's too embarrassing! Meow! Now repeat after me. Ugh. This is too embarrassing! Meow! Wow! Chris! You're so cute! Meow! Oh my god. <laughs> These girls are adorable though. Oh! You did a great job! Now, it would be great if we can entertain the guests capriciously like a cat. I am starving, Meow. Meowster, buy me Meow some food. I think we can make this work if we learn from Aqua, Meow. Damn, I can't believe Aqua's a pro at this. I mean, it seems Union gets it pretty quickly and Chris I mean she's doing it all right she's doing it in the most basic way possible of just saying meow after every sentence <laughs> I'm pumped I'm looking forward to tomorrow's grand opening and probably the golem is gonna attack tomorrow of course. Yeah, it's like, there's no way they can keep a money scheme going for even a single day. It's like, basically, they're going to make a lot of money, and then the place is going to be destroyed, and they're going to have to rebuild it. Or at least pay the cost of whatever this building was worth. Although they said this place was going to be demolished anyway, so it is going to be pretty BS if they require these guys to pay for the house when this place was going to be demolished in like, what, a few days? Or like sometime soon is all they said. It's like, if anything, you should have paid these guys for demolishing the house if it does get destroyed. Like, yeah, that's just my thought. 
魔王様のお通りだワンシャッターマン今だけでも払いなさい。Alright, ten and now we just need eleven. このスーパーこのスーパー俺に恐れをなした。ただだ消えないうちに。Revenue in this cat ear tea house, part five. Now, welcome. Cute cat ear Mikos will be serving you. Meow. Are Mikos just cat girls? I'm trying to remember. Like, I'm pretty sure I would have heard that at some point. I guess they are? Well, I'll, I'll just be taking it as. Yeah, that's basically cat girls' names or whatever. The species. I never heard of a shop like this opening up. Young male crimson demon, not even the older ones. They're attracting teens or young guys. <laughs> young adults into their shop. Interesting. Also, let's get a good look at this picture. Aw, this is very cute. Like, yeah, you can see Aqua and the entirety of the outfit. Eh, I mean, you really can't see her feet, but aside from that, you can see mostly everything. I'm pretty sure she's just wearing sandals. She has a little bun and she has... I don't know what those are. Rice balls or some kind of skewer with something on it. But yeah, it is pretty cute. She's doing the she's doing the cat girl pose where they lift one foot up, they kind of put out their hand a little bit and be act all cute. Also with that little wink, probably get the guy's blood boiling. Being like, oh my god, so cute. But I wonder what's going on in the background. Is Megamine and Kazuma happy because they're making a lot of money and that's why they're like that? Or is somebody that's the chef or whoever is making great tea and food that they're just enjoying it? Also, this would be sweet. Basically owning your own business, sitting there in the back, Wow, you're making a ton of money. Even the residents don't know of it. Something seems a little off. Just come in and try it, meow. Now, we have guests. Meow. Welcome. We've been waiting for you, meow. I just wonder, is there any girl tourist or crimson demons that are like, what is with this shop? And like, they're embarrassed for the other girls or be like, have some self-respect. Oh! What is that blessed outfit that looks like the divine statue? That special way of talking and the outfit I've never seen before. Something about it makes my heart pound. But I find that very weird. Just like the divine statue? From what they describe, it sounds like the girl in the statue is a swimsuit. Which is not what these guys are wearing. These guys are wearing some kind of priestess slash kimono outfit. 
So, yeah, I don't understand exactly why they're saying this. <laughs> it looks like the rookie training are taking effect. The rookie training? Little weird. So that means is there like advanced cat girl stuff they can learn? And then expert cat stuff? Thank you for waiting, meow. Please tell me your orders, meow. Recommended menu is the sweet rice ball set, meow. Here is the matcha you ordered, meow. Eek! The table is drenched. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my god. I wonder, is that gonna, like, make them feel better or worse? Like, that Union just dropped everything. Like, is it gonna be, oh my god, she's so precious. Look at her fumbling everything. <laughs> or are they gonna actually be disappointed and being like, oh, wow, this place isn't really organized or that professional. I think we should take our business somewhere else. I think it's going to be on the cuter side. Because I feel like that's going to make the customers want to stay. And plus, is this an anime moment where, like, the girl drops all the tea and stuff on herself? And plus, she's wearing white. So, you know, if white outfits get drenched, and if there's not much, like, fabric between her and that, yeah, I, I don't know how these guys are going to feel. <laughs> Even her clumsiness is great. I want to protect and support her. I'm sorry, sir. If you're going to get mad, please get mad at me. Here. <laughs> Why do they have darkness here? Like, Megamine and darkness seem like they're not a part of the operation. I guess maybe darkness is the... I'm trying to remember what they're called. I think the host or hostess, the like person that leads them to the area. But it seems like Chris, Yinyan, and Aqua were already doing that. So, or maybe Darkness is just a manager, and is wanting to take the punishment for her employees. Wait, you're making things worse. I'm exhausted now, Meow. Meowster, could you bring the dish yourself, Meow? Oh, she is truly like a cat, with the capricious and free-willing side. Like, yeah, I, I don't understand what capricious is and free-willing side. I'm guessing that's basically... Like, laziness? I think that's what capricious is. Freewheeling, I'm pretty sure, is just like a... Like a whatever, just living your lifestyle life. Like, I'm trying to remember. I guess just like a chill creature, something like that. Where it just doesn't care. It's just friendly to everyone, everything. <laughs> hmm. Just as I planned. Seriously, why am I doing something like this? I have to try everything on the menu. Excuse me, I would like to order. Yes, master. Be right there with you, meow. Yeah, she keeps saying master instead of meowster. Or meowster. One of those two. I finished cooking. Take it. Oh, so she's the cook. I was wondering what Darkness was doing. Yeah, I guess she does have some cooking skills. It's Darkness and I'm pretty sure Kazuma are their main cooks. Because sometimes I see Kazuma prepare the meals. But then sometimes I hear it's like, oh... Darkness prepared a special meal or something. So, I wonder if that is something that's an actual canon where Darkness can cook. I would imagine, coming from nobility, she wouldn't. And Aqua as a goddess, 
never had to cook, and Megamine is still kind of a child, which I'm not entirely sure if she can cook. It seems Darkness has gotten used to the kitchen work. You get used to it after making it a several times, since the recipe doesn't change. You seem to be enjoying it despite complaining about it, Chris. I have no choice since I'm already here. It's better to enjoy it if I can. Yeah, so does she enjoy the attention? Does she enjoy the roleplay? Or does she just enjoy the money? Like, all three of those are valid choices. Although, I would say it's a little strange to be enjoying the roleplay. Or maybe she enjoys being with her friends. Can I really eat everything here, sis? Yeah, it's like, who let Kameko know on the secret? Or I guess maybe she was wandering around town being like, Huh? This place is very popular. And then she saw her sister being like, My sister owns a restaurant. Or a shop. Yes, because darkness made them to practice. Dig in since they don't taste that bad. Wait, Megumin! You need to help us too! I really want to help you, but it seems like the outfit preparations are being delayed. I will supervise the others working to make up for it. Kazuma called this position the manager. I'm sure Kazuma just didn't want her to work. Because first, I think she would do it clumsily. And second of all, I think she would probably be trying to do some Crimson Demon poses instead of doing the main thing of doing Meow Measter or something. Like trying to be cool when they're not supposed to be cool. They're supposed to be cute. Plus, I don't think they'd be as interested in Megamine as they would be in Chris, Aqua, and Yunyun. You look so cool, sister! She's literally doing the same pose she's always done. She's not that cool. Or at least, not much cooler than usual. Phew! Will this shot really be okay? Yes, you can take a picture with the cat ear Mikos for an additional price. How about a picture with your favorite Miko with the magical camera? How about a picture with your favorite Miko with the magical camera? First of all, I didn't even know they made magic cameras. Huh. That's interesting if that is actually something that happened in the series. And favorite Mikos, is that like one of the girls or are they talking about the statue? Like, oh, this Miko statue. You can take a picture with it. Your favorite Miko. Oh yeah, aren't they usually called like Nekos, not Mikos? I was like, yeah, it's like I have heard people refer to cat girls before by Nekos, but I've never heard Mikos. I'll take it! A few days later... Welcome! We're full at the meowment, so please write down your name and wait. Meow. The fateful waiters with the cat ears like the divine statue. Give me your power. Look! Cat ears are the best! I'm gonna come here until I spend all my money! Why not just spend it all in one go? I mean, that's the best way to pay for your cat girls or... You know, donate to your cat girls. It's full every day. Its reputation among the Crimson Demons and customers from outside the village is great as well. We might earn much more money than going on some quest. Wait, I have no intention of helping you forever. Yeah, it's like, she's happy to help out her friends, but... She obviously loves to be an adventure, and doesn't want this to be her life. 
Kazuma, I don't know if the ingredients we have will be enough because they are running out so fast. Yeah, they probably only had enough ingredients for a couple of days. And he probably wasn't thinking they were going to need it. Like, it was going to earn money this place, but probably wasn't thinking this much money where every day they're packed and probably hardly get a break. Then we have to go grocery shopping quickly. Kazuma! It's an emergency! Yeah, everything is falling apart. Chris doesn't want to be a part of this. They're running out of groceries, and now whatever is happening here. Probably the golem back. What is it this time? There is a giant boulder outside! A giant boulder? Could it be? At a time like this? Wow, I guess it's not even in its actual form. So wait, is it just gonna give up? Or like, are we just gonna skip to the next cutscene and they're gonna do the finishing blow to kill it? Because it's so weird. Usually the way these cutscenes go is like the creature attacks, destroys something, and then they go and be like, all right, let's take it down and then charge it. And then by the next cutscene, we see them kill the creature of whatever was attacking them. But it doesn't seem like we're fighting. So that is super strange. So, is the creature, uh, the golem, just gonna give up or do something? Because it's seeming like it's not gonna fight, at least in the cutscene. Of course, we're killing it right here, because they have a character model for it. So, we need to do something. Right. Let's see the final cutscene. Revenue in this cat ear tea house. Final part. Revenue in this cat ear tea house. Part 6. Damn it! It's incredible no matter how many times I see it. Give up and become our village's tourist material! I'm just blown away. So these guys are basically looking at it. It's roaring, doing everything, I guess, cool you would want to see from a monster as long as it's not like attacking anyone so instead of being like let's defend the village by attacking this creature they're just looking at it and being like oh my god it's so cool please become our tourist attraction like that's ridiculous from these guys do not get in the way I came for her. So I wonder if it's coming specifically for Yun Yun or possibly the statue. It's still speaking in riddles. It's literally not a riddle. It's speaking in the most direct way that I'm coming for her. Yeah, it didn't say who it was coming for, but literally it's coming for a girl. And obviously from the context clues, we know who it's coming for, at least one of the two options. I think it's coming this way. We have to do something. We have to evacuate the guest. I will draw its attention. So in the meantime, Wait! 
It's dangerous to do it on your own. Darkness, I'm going to go with Yunyan. So please, take care of the guest. Okay, I'll do my best to protect them. This way, everyone. What do we do with this, brother? Aww. I didn't know Kameko also calls him brother. I guess maybe here it is more... What's it called? Plutonic or whatever with Megamine's sister than it is with Iris. Because in with Iris's case, I think he low-key likes Iris. He really loves having that brother-sister dynamic, but I'm pretty sure he only likes it or loves it because of like all the mangas or that has the trope of the brother and sister that love each other. But aside from that, he has a cute relationship with Kameko. Where it's like Kameko thinks of him as a big brother or at least Onisan or whatever. And then she thinks of Megamine as her actual big sister being like, man, I love her so much. Oh, you mean the divine statue? I'll keep it because the crimson demons might get annoying if we lose it. Where is? Where? Where is she? Wait! I won't let you destroy our village any further! You were at the shrine before. Yinyan! Let's leave it to the other crimson demons and run away! Damn! Both of them are cowards. Like, you would think she would actually be helping, considering she said, Yinyan, don't go by yourself. Like, that sounds like someone that wants to actually help, but she's literally telling Yinyan, abandon your village. Let's leave. No. What? Not only one, but two of them are dressed like that. Fuck. I'm guessing he's being affected by their cuteness as well. Being like, what? These pretty girls are so cute. Huh? The fortress golem's movements are... I have someone whom my heart has chosen. I can't believe they're hindering me like this. Huh. So was the golem once human? And so that's why he loves? Like how does this golem have sentience like this? Because this is no normal golem that we have faced in the past. Like, I don't remember if there's been golem attacks or anything like that for those events, but all I know is during other story events, golems are usually programmable, or at least they're created with magic that just summons them, and they get basic life. So this one speaking is actually really different. This reaction, there is no doubt about it. It likes the cat ears. Then I will use this. Hey, look over here. That's my favorite. Chris, Union, its objective is divine statue. It definitely likes the cat ears. Huh? So it won't be able to attack you guys. Think of the time when it ambushed the shrine for the first time. I won't let you destroy the shrine any further. I will fight you, Golem. <laughs> that, that was the weirdest noise ever. It's like... <laughs> like being so surprised at this cute girl wanting to fight him. It suddenly stopped moving. 
Oh, that's why. I'll use this divine statue and lure it away from the village. You guys can attack it during the meantime. <laughs> it will be easy if it can't attack us. Let's go, everyone. And I'm guessing probably darkness is going to be like, no, let it attack us. Ugh, cat ears. I can't attack something so adorable. Listen, I don't care how cute my opponent would be. If I see someone blasting spells at me, literally trying to kill me or hurt me, I'm smacking them. Like, I can imagine Chris probably tying up his legs to trip him or hold him with bind. And then Union blasting lightning. I don't know what other spell she has, but I would imagine lightning is not effective against a golem which is made of stone. And plus, if Chris tried to come up on me and stab me, I would really take offense to that, being like, what? You're trying to come up on top of me to stab me with your knife? Now, I don't know what Darkness is doing and what Aqua is doing, but I don't know. I would smack them all if they were attacking me. This is the end. Light of... The last performance is mine. Explode! Oh, wait! Kazuma's behind the golem! Jin! I am a little conflicted about this because like they killed this golem which I don't know if he really was destroying the village like he seemed to not fight anyone he just told him to get out of the way and what was he wanting to do with this figure like was he just wanting to take it back with him because it seemed like they killed him for nothing <laughs> Huh? The golem embraced Kazuma! It's great that you are safe, adorable one. I think it was embracing the divine statue, not Kazuma. This is the power of love. Phew! Something annoying did happen. It looks like we took care of it. Yeah, they just killed it. Oh my god, I feel so bad. Because it fell in love with the statue. I'm guessing because they're both inanimate objects in a way. For whatever reason, the golem gained sentience, I guess, when Aqua healed it or was unsealed. And it fell in love with the statue. I don't know if the statue is like years and years old from whenever the golem was sealed. And so that's why he was in love with it. Or as soon as it was unsealed, then it became in love with the statue. But yeah, these guys just killed it and don't even think about him. Is this really enough? Something feels very bitter. Okay, so some people feel it. A few days later... <sighs> Sai, We defeat the golem. But it would be pointless if the shop is empty like this because of it. Ordinary people can't come close because there are some stone rubbles next to the shop. And it looks like the Crimson Demons have lost their interest in the Cat Ear Cafe. Okay, so I kind of understand that, even though it's a bit of an overreaction. 
They're scared because of those little stone things to the left. So they're afraid that a golem will rise from there. But the Crimson Demon's losing their interest? Now that's kind of weird. I wonder why. I guess because they were more hyped for the golem. It's like, oh, forget the cat ear cafe. Let's go for the golem. And they killed the golem. And it's like, okay, screw this place. Don't be so discouraged. We can capture it. But the residents are rejoicing because they got an awesome statue. So did they turn his body into a statue? What is that? I'm trying to remember what that is when you... Taxidermy? They taxidermy the golem? Ahahaha. <laughs> well, whatever the case, it's great that everyone is safe. Although, I feel a little bad for the golem. Everyone! Look at this! This is the book that I confiscated from Megamine. But something incredible was written on it. When I took a closer look. Let me see. A giant god like a boulder. Who is rampaging. And looking for a beautiful statue of the beast. We tried our best. And sealed it on the shrine boulder. A beautiful statue of the beast? What's that mean? Like is this a typo? Word error? Grammatical error? Like, why is it beast? I think it should be beauty. Like, the giant creature was looking for the statue of the beauty. But I think someone changed it to beast? Because it makes it seem like he was looking for a statue of himself. But in actuality, he was looking for the statue of a beauty, which is the swimsuit cat Neko or Miko girl. But that sleep isn't for eternity. We'll store the beast-like shaped equipment, the same thing that wears on the day of the ceiling, for the time when the god opens its eyes again. <laughs> Funny little typo grammatical error. They forgot the E for eyes. But yeah, what does that mean? We'll store the beast-like shaped equipment. The same thing that wears on the day of the ceiling. So does that mean it was armor? And that was actually someone in the armor that was sealed away? I'm not entirely sure. I can't believe the cat ear headband and Miko outfit had such a deep history. Come on, what is with this village? It was great that we defeated it, since it looked like the golem had been causing trouble since the past. Yeah, why were these guys able to defeat it, but not the ancient crimson demons and scientists? Hey, is it true that you guys are trying to hand over the shop? Yes, we won't have any clients anymore, and we also have to start going back to Axel. Then I'll open a new store with a cooler concept this time. Since we're not interested with cat ears anymore, let's start with the bandages and eye patches. What? That's literally something they've been interested in, I'm pretty sure, most of this village's life. So why would they like be even more interested in a shop that sells that? Or maybe they're going to open a cafe. But all the girls are wearing bandages and eye patches. After a few days, they opened a very evil tea house in the Crimson Demon Village. But this is another story. Oh man, is there gonna be a third event continuing the storyline? Yeah, that is actually very nice if they continue this. Where it's like one story event leads into another to another. But yeah, this event was a little strange. 
because like half of it was at the shrine like them just talking about the shrine being wanting to do stuff there and then the other half was finally doing the tea house also i forgot to say but evil tea house what does that even mean does that mean the crimson demons turn evil and they open a evil tea house or they open it for villains monsters something yeah, I really don't know what an evil tea house is. But yeah, that was a interesting event overall. I, I enjoyed it pretty well. Uh, yeah. We'll have to see whatever the newest story event is. So maybe it'll be a few weeks. Maybe it'll be in a month. I'm sure it's not going to take too long to get the continuation of this. Since that's how long it's been since the school prison or... Damn, I, I keep getting the name confused. But the Crimson Demon School. But since they call their school basically the Blood Prison or Crimson Demon Prison or something like that. I just get confused with the name. Yeah, since it's been a little bit since that event, I don't think it should take too long for the next event. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed Konosuba Fantastic Days, Revenue in this Cat Ear Tea House. If you guys did, please make sure to follow me on all my social medias, like my Twitter, my Twitch, my YouTube, my DLive, my TikTok, my Kick, Rumble, Odyssey, and Daily Motion. Make sure to check out my second YouTube channel, and like and comment on all my videos, and even join my Discord. There you can stay up to date with everything I choose to do, or my streams, videos, or anything else. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.